So it's day four. Um, we have ten tracks uh, laid down. Um, it's been by far, um, I think, the, the biggest learning experience um, and the most loving experience I've had in the studio. Um, it's not as <clears throat> uh, hard rock and roll or um, some of the retro rock that I've done before. And it's, I don't think it's so much of the storytelling that I've done before. I think it's more along the lines of um, um, you know, even a bit of cabaret influence and certainly some jazz influence. Um, um, going back to a different time, instead of 70s, I think there's some things that go back to the 40s, you know, which has always been such a love of mine because my mother introduced me to Billie Holiday and, and artists like that when I was young, first first starting out in music. And, and I just remembered thinking, God, I, I wish I could do that, but never thinking that I could come even close to something like that. covered a gamut of styles on this record. We've got some old songs, we cover a slight reggae feel, um, we've got some mid-tempo songs that are almost reminiscent of Tom Petty or the Eagles from that West Coast sound and overall I think it's a very cohesive and amazing album actually. And the thing that we much. did on the demo was the, the beat actually didn't come in until I heard bang 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 and then she goes boom 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 and it like starts it's a weird thing but I'd like to start I think we should start with the kick drum running the whole way through mm. and then bring the snare drum in after that bang 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 boom 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 so like it explodes in it feels like a part of the rock category that's missing right and, and again it's it's she plays piano so we've got this root of the piano and her soulful voice but with the rock guitars and and the epic sounding uh, music so it seems like rock maybe that's that's new but it also it takes us back to like a vintage feeling and, and I like that that's exciting to me it feels like we're doing we're doing something new and we're leaving a bit of a mark It's, uh, it's going great, and um, I mean, I'm having a ball, and I was a fan of Beth's, and it's always nice when you work with someone in the studio and you realize that, that there's no trickery involved. She is a genuine artist, and so it's just been a joy to, to work on this record. It's really, really a special record, I think. I think it's like listening to old time radio. I think, uh, you know, one of the things that was so great about listening to radio, you know, a few years back was that you'd get a whole bunch of different styles. I think it's, I think it's exciting to listen to a, a record like this with a bunch of different styles and it makes the record eminently listenable, you know. This is love. 